Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to today's special topic where I'll be showing you how to create a Microsoft Teams meeting within your Outlook. Now this is going to be primarily useful for those of you that already use Microsoft Teams for conference calls for example. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is open your Outlook. Once you've opened your Outlook, you're going to want to make your way over to the Calendar tab. Now from here you have two different options in which you can create this Microsoft Teams meeting. You can either find the date in which you'd like to set up this meeting for, right click on that date and select new meeting request from the drop down menu. Or you can simply select new Teams meeting from the toolbar. Now once you've selected the Microsoft Teams meeting, you'll notice that it will include a link to this meeting. Now you may be asking yourself, does the recipient or the attendee need to have an Office 365 account or a Microsoft Teams account? And the answer is no, they do not. They can simply click on this link and utilize the Microsoft Teams version on the web. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is invite the attendees. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to invite myself. You can fill out a subject. And then the next thing you're going to want to do is select the date for this meeting. So let's say we're going to do this tomorrow. And then we're going to set the time to, let's say 2 p.m. You'll notice when you set the end time for the meeting, it'll give you an option to either a 30 minute slot, a one hour slot or more. So we're just going to do one hour. The next thing you can do is tailor the message to include details about what the Microsoft Teams meeting is going to be about and then you can simply send the meeting. Now once you've sent the request, you'll notice that in your Outlook calendar, you'll notice that the meeting has already appeared. Now for those of you that have Microsoft Teams installed, you can make your way over to your Microsoft Teams, view your calendar and you'll also see that meeting is already populated there as well. Now when it comes time to joining the meeting, you'll just open up your Microsoft Teams, go to your calendar, select the meeting and then click join. From here, you'll be able to make sure that your webcam if necessary is set up and your microphone and then you simply join the meeting. Now guys, if you have any questions about utilizing Microsoft Teams, setting up a Teams meeting within your Outlook, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below. Now, if you're currently using Skype for Business, I just want you to be reminded that Skype for, the, Skype for Business will eventually be phased out for Microsoft Teams. So if you haven't already made that transition over to Microsoft Teams, I highly recommend that you do so. If you have any questions about doing that transition, please don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, guys, so you can get notified whenever we go live between 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time each and every single weekday. And also when we upload any more interesting content just like this one. Thank you guys for tuning in and have a great rest of your day.